Okay, I just thought this was worth a video because uh, we've got the HV unit out. Okay, obviously I've stripped this one previously, so there's no connections as such. But crucially, you have to take out all the high voltage connections. Okay, which there's some pickies about, but basically one's in there and the other one goes there. It's that one. And basically if you just un take the nuts off, obviously, you can slot it out as long as you undo these two things here. Right, the reason why I did this was to get at the uh, position centres. Okay, while we're there, <coughs> okay, just for anybody who wants this, okay, so we've got two coolant hoses, one in, one out. I did lose a little bit because I took the top hose off. You can see, there it is. You can see it. Um, but I took this hose off because this tank was empty actually in this one. It must have all flowed out. And uh, the so the hose didn't have any in there. But So I just hooked it up there and it didn't seem to spill. But when it actually moved the unit, it then started flowing out. So I put it back on. Um, that's the only real kicker with that one. There's a, a mounting underneath here which is actually, uh, where's it gone? That there. See? That kind of goes up the side. You see these things poking out from the side. I think they must be lubrication. Not sure there because it goes into the, into the top there somewhere. Okay so that fastens two nuts there into those two holes there. So just take that off. There's an earthing strap which I'll show you. This earthing strap here, okay, which fastens, I don't know if you can see it, there you go, earthing strap, which fastens underneath there, okay, there is one off, and uh, that fixes to this bolt, so just take that one off, and then it really does generally come free. These are bolted to the back, you've got, basically you've got four points where it's actually fastened, one here, which is that one. And then you've got one here, which is that one. And then at the back, on the corner, you've got this one. Obviously, I've rotated this round 90 degrees. And that fixes to there, okay? And then here, these two bolts, okay, are these two guys here. So if you undo all those, then mechanically it's separate. Okay, you've got to take all these connections off, which are just pop off, so that's no problem. You, you don't need to take that off, but undo these clips down here so it frees it, and then you can get it up. Undo your uh, <coughs> high voltage. This is for the um, motor generator attached to the engine. And then the one over there, you basically just simply take them out. Three bolts. Okay, and inside there's a picture of it, but basically take those three bolts off and it comes out once you undo the actual electrical connections okay so that's the actual traction motor that's the one that's underneath here okay you got two you got one there which is the starter generator and then you got one under here which is the traction motor and it does regen as well okay that is the coolant pump that's something which tends to go faulty and you have to take out the HV unit to get to it you really don't have an option there's no real way to do any of else okay but it took me about an hour and it would uh, the fact that I've gutted it is irrelevant okay you just need to undo the HD HT connections and then you can get it out that's pretty much it as far as I remember right to the business okay so if we move this okay this is the uh, starter generator we move that out of the way and then down there there this, ooh, if I can get my head out of the way, that is one of the sensors. That one down there is a sensor. Okay, I don't know which one it is yet. And then there's another one, which is just behind it. If I can get to it there. Okay, so that's one sensor there. That's the other sensor there. Okay, this is stammering a bit, I know. But I've unplugged one of them, which is, which is actually that one there. You can see it's off. So that's one and the other. I don't know which one's which yet, but uh, we we obviously have the position sensors there. So what I can do now is I can start experimenting with the voltages and find out which one's which. And that's it. That's what I was after: position sensors. So now I was I was hoping I wouldn't have to take out the engine to do that, or the whole engine transaxle. And uh, obviously I don't. 
So that's good. I can access them. Right then, there we go. Bit of a mess there, there you go. 